Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make something dense, uh, something that looks like dense jungle like this. Now, to make something that looks like this, it's actually quite easy, but as we go through the rest of this pack here, this can be a little bit more difficult. Now, I'm using the Tropical Jungle Pack here, and I'm going to show you how to make dense jungle really quickly. Now, just remember, though, that when you do make anything that's along the lines of um, of any kind of art, sometimes it's very easy to get you a certain way, and then it might be hard to get you to the fully polished uh, game here. So I'm going to show you the easy way just to get you up and running as quickly as possible. So first things first, we need to create a landscape here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to ground. And uh, let's see, ground grass, that's the one we want. And I'm just going to make the number of components two by two, simply move this down one here. So I have this nice platform here and go ahead and push create. And there we go. So look at this, we have a nice grassland here. Next thing we need to do is we need to go and basically um, uh, just make it a little bit more uh, hilly here. So I'm just going to create some hills not too not too much we really don't want too much of this here right because there we go all right perfect so let's just look at that here and and that might even just be a bit too much uh, but nevertheless um, I think that's probably good for now um, so what we need to do is we need to make this dense jungle now um, it's actually easier than it looks if you're just going for random dense jungle okay so let's go I believe it's not into materials but meshes here and we need to hop into our foliage editor here okay so first things first let's go and let's add some plants here and we're gonna well we're just gonna add all of them okay we're gonna add all of them here because these are some nice jungle plants here um, you can actually add in a couple rocks um, maybe we'll do that later uh, but Let's see, we added some trees here. Uh, we uh, Not the palm trees, I don't want those. I just want kind of the these. I'm going to add those in there too. And uh, the vines, probably not those. Bush, yeah, maybe let's add all of those in there too. And then uh, not really grass, ground cover. Yeah, probably not. Particles, no. Okay, so I think that's, that's enough here. So let's go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're just going to select all of these here. And we're going to go into the paint here. Now, I've done this in a different tutorial here. So usually the size is something like this. And you can go and simply click it there, and well, well, let's take a look at this. So does that look like dense jungle well I think it does so obviously that's a little too dense so what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna drag the size up to be well basically the size of this entire thing here okay then we're just gonna click here and that oh boy if we push play that's <laughs> well I, I said dense jungle but that's far too dense, okay? So there's a couple things we can do. First of all, we can take the density down to like nothing. So let's do that, right? And then you can see that, well, it's it's better, right? In fact, actually, that's probably decent. The problem is we really have too many trees, okay? So what we need to do now is, is basically play around with all of these here. So first, let's select all the trees and let's hop into this number here. Okay, I'm going to make these, well, the trees were actually pretty good. So I'm going to make these about half, okay? And so we got half. And you can see here, um, if we, you know, select all these here, I'm going to say that these are 50 and push enter. And then if we click on this again, okay, you can see that it's 100. And what we want the rest of these here, right, all of these in here, we want these to be more, okay? And let's just go ahead and let's click on them, and then let's make these 
about, you know, let's maybe make them 300, okay? So here we go, and let's hop into that there, okay? So that is starting to look, well, a lot better, okay? And as you can see, that, there we go. That is maybe still a little bit too much here, but these here, um, the trees, I'm just going to undo these here again, but the trees here, right, um, for some reason, um, the trees are not setting. I'm not sure why, but let's go ahead and let's make these 10, okay? So let's select all these here and then 10, okay? And then if we select all these here, I think that will look a little bit better, okay? And as you can see, we now have a dense jungle here, but I still think it's not quite what we want. So let's go ahead and let's select all of these here. These are at 300. I'm going to change these to 1,000, okay? And then let's just double check. For some reason, uh, it's not, it's just not being set the way I wanted it to. Oh yes, and that's because I, I load the density here. So that is a, maybe a bit too much here. And you can see here how you would play with one over the other. So these bushes might be too much. So I'm actually going to bring that down back to 300. And I'm going to bring the density back up to 0.5. Okay. And then, because um, we played with that earlier. And if we just click here, um, again, maybe that's still too dense. Um, and you can see here uh, that you know, you do have to play around with it. So I'm going to make that 0.1, and that's probably a little bit better. But you can see that the um, the bushes, or maybe 0 0.025, let's try that again, right? And if we click on that, okay, it's, it's not bad, right? But the bushes are, like, still a little bit too much. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to delete these bushes because I don't like them as much, all right? And then I want to make maybe these a little bit more, so maybe make them 400, and here we go, okay, and that, now that is starting to look more and more like a jungle here, okay, and so this, this is a playable, it's, it's playable here, and you, right, so you can see we have a little bit of trees, and there's some ground cover, now I actually did this video with the jungle ground, and for some reason the shader just did not quite work the way I wanted it to, so if this had the jungle ground, I think it would be good too, also the lighting here needs a lot of improvement, but nevertheless, we do have something that looks pretty good, and this is how you make something that's really easy, if you're looking for just a random kind of level, um, this is this is a good way to do it, if you're in a time crunch or a game jam, and you want your game to look good, this is what you want to do. All right. Thanks for listening. Please be sure to like and subscribe. As of this video, um, this channel has not been monetized. So please like and subscribe and please help us out. Um, and please definitely help us out by uh, sharing this video, specifically on Reddit and uh, on real forums. That really does help us out. We get a lot of traffic from there. Also, this channel doesn't do Patreon. So we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this video, you can buy our digital products down below. It really helps out the channel. And if you really like this channel, you can subscribe monthly to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of e-learning content. We have... 20, we release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every month, and we have monthly and yearly options. It's really one of the best ways to learn online. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another video.